what is going on guys angela here i just drove six hours to ride lightning rod and uh right now i actually just got here it is i think about like 10 50 right now i actually passed the entrance because the gps took me around some way uh first off i just want to say tennessee looks incredible like i'm honestly blown away by how amazing the mountains and the colors of like the leaves look it looks amazing during the fall I cannot wait to come back here. I'm only going to be here for a day, unfortunately. Uh, I wasn't really supposed to even be going to Dollywood. It just was kind of like a spontaneous decision to really do this, mainly because Lightning Rod's closing. But obviously, there's a bunch of other amazing coasters at the park. Uh, and obviously, they have Big Bear Mountain also now. I'm very excited. This is my first time here. I think today's going to be a great day. I'm going to meet a lot of people. I think even Airtime Mike is supposed to be here, so we may try to get him in the vlog later on. Um, it feels amazing outside. It's supposed to get to maybe like high 80 or low 80s, low 80s, and then like high 60s. So it's gonna be a good day. I saw I passed the mountain coaster also. They have a Bucky's. The gas is cheap here. It's 284. I said there's no way. Let's get this vlog started, man. Also, everyone is just so nice, but everyone has an accent. It's pretty funny. I think it's right over. Oh yeah, here it is. It looks pretty cool. The theming just is incredible. I can't look at the dipping dots. Wow. All right, here we go. I think it's open. In line for a lightning rod. This is what I'm calling. What's going on? <laughs> you know, like I'm here to pay my respects. You know, like uh, I got a, I got an infamous picture where I'm wearing like a boy shirt, like going this. The picture was taken by OK Coaster, so on my last, not yet, for Friday So um, it's on one train. It's, uh, it's, it's offering. You got to get here as soon as you can because yeah. it goes down. I had to make sure I wrote my boy shirt uh, in, 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 in honor of my last time. He says the best, time. but I don't know. Man. I gotta ride boys to find out. Oh, this is definitely the best winning in my opinion. And, uh, I've actually been messing with this. That's a steel coaster, though. This is the best coaster overall. But uh, this is gonna be fun, man. Like, this is your first time here. Uh, your first ride of the day is gonna be lighting rod. And then after this, it's pretty good. Yeah, I get you a new ride credit. Not yet. I'm gonna make Bear Mountain, so I'm excited to get on that. That's a new credit for me, so I'm really, really excited about that. We're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, you can get on today. This coaster is right. temperamental. I know. <laughs>
Okay, guys, I don't know if y'all can even see me from this far. You probably can, but uh, Credit 105 is acquired. Uh, it was good. It was solid. I will say, overall, I think, surprisingly, it's actually rough in some areas. It was a little jolty, like, right before, like, the quad down. I don't really know exactly what part. I kind of would have to re-ride it to kind of remember. Uh, I did front seat as the first one, as my first ride. Uh, the launch, it's nice. It's like slow at first and then it starts to kick in. You can tell though that it used to be even faster. Um, <laughs> the um, Overall though, I would say it's good. It's not like anything bad. I would say as far as where it ranks honestly from my RMC, I think, I don't know though. It's a good ride. I'll say that. I'm glad that I got to experience the launch. Now I can figure out what the high-speed chain lift is honestly going to be like. It's aesthetically pleasing, though. Like, the theming, everything about the ride, everything about this area, just, it looks amazing. Like, it feels like I'm in, like, this old-school town. It looks really cool. The theming is honestly better than probably Busch Gardens. I'd say it's right there with uh, Disney, to be honest. Like, it's really, really nice. It, it's good. I definitely hope to ride it a little bit more. It definitely, it was an hour wait. I timed it. Uh, it's one train ops. They, I mean, I understand because it's a problem child. Like, it was already having issues when we were in line. So it makes sense why they can't, like, have two trains. I can't wait to come back here, though, because, like I said, I'm only here for a day, but luckily there's not too many coasters. Uh, Y'all saw Mike in the video. There it goes now. Um, I'm going to try to ride this more later on, but we'll try to get some other credits because I still have to credit run the park, so yeah. All right, guys, I found somewhere quiet, but that's not really hard to find somewhere quiet. Um, that's one thing I really like about this park. It's quiet. You don't have all that pop music playing, no rap music playing. I don't have to worry about it. No copyright music here. They even have people actually playing live. There's a guy playing the guitar. Just He's just fiddling, fiddling at the thing. They got pumpkins everywhere. The place looks really, really good. I see why it is voted what it is. I think honestly it's well-deserved. The reason why I got the tripod up is because I got the cinnamon bread. Now it does run, it ran me $12 for cinnamon bread. So I'm probably not gonna be eating some for a while. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely sticky. It's hot too. It does feel really, really hot. Holy crap. We're gonna see how it is though. Dang. Jesus. That's the cinnamon bread. So it's pretty much like a thing like called monkey bread. I used to make it. It's called like monkey bread. Um, instead of it being like loaves, like slices, uh, it's pretty much like this pull apart. It's kind of like cinnamon, uh, cinnamon sugar nuggets at like Auntie Anne's. Um, let's go ahead and give it a taste though. We're gonna see how it is. Only issue about this park though is that there's a lot of yellow jackets. So like, you just have to watch where you sit or stand at. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's crazy. Try without the icing first. There's no way I can even like press stop recording because of how sticky this stuff is. So, let's see how it is. This is what it is. Hmm. It's pretty good. Honestly, the icing is really what does it. Like the icing is like the cherry on top. 
But I will say, I've actually made better cinnamon bread than this. Yeah, so like I've made like homemade, uh, if you make homemade bread and actually make like just dust it in cinnamon and sugar, I'm not gonna lie, mine's actually better than this, but for a mise en part bread, this is really good. Like the bread is fluffy, it's soft, it's squishy, it's really good though. The icing is really what does it, I really like the icing though. church in here y'all <laughs> looks really good man they did a really good job as far as like just the aesthetics and putting things together I love how quiet it is I don't know what that is. is that the Tennessee tornado right there oh there it is there's a sign for everything So, just did Blazing Fury. That was very interesting. Probably the most interesting coaster I think I've ridden. I didn't even know. I was like, is this a coaster or is it a dark ride? It's basically a dark ride coaster. Very, very weird. Like, oh, it smelled kind of weird in there. And then a drop just happened out of nowhere. It was just like, boom. I said, what? The restraints? <laughs> There's barely any restraint on the ride. <laughs> the drop just comes out of nowhere. It's very interesting, though. Like, I guess you could say theming was good, but I don't know. It kind of reminded me of like an old Disney type of ride, like like some dwarf ride. I don't even know. It's, it was very interesting. That's all I can really put it. Um, next up, I don't know what's next. I'm just kind of following the path because I'm kind of getting lost a little bit because the park, it just integrates so well that I can't really tell where like it, where each coast is at. The map is kind of hard to read, so yeah. so confusing huh okay theming is so good though it looks really good but this is the aerodynamics coaster i don't know everyone says this one's good we're gonna see this will be credit 107 Tennessee Tornado. That is the best arrow I've ridden. That thing was crazy. Like, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain that one. I'm sitting here looking at the inversions, like going up the lift, and I'm like, we're about to go through that craziness. That was a wild, wild ride. Like, definitely the best arrow I've ridden. It was actually surprisingly smooth. Um, man, that was crazy. That one, all arrows always do that to me. They kind of just get my nerves up, mainly because. I look at those inversions, I'm like, that's not normal for that type of coaster. But um, I'm gonna try to ride Fire Chaser Express, Wild Eagle after that, and then try to hit up Big Bear Mountain. 
There's also the Wildwood Grove. I need to check out that area too. So yeah. I don't know if I have to put my thing in a locker or not, y'all. So for a second I thought uh, for Wild Eagle we have to have lockers and I was like I'm not paying $12 for no locker when every other ride doesn't have bins, when every other ride has bins. So we're going to do Fire Chaser now and um, yeah I like I will say the theming all across the board here is just phenomenal like they do an amazing job. Fire Chaser Express. Boy, I was about to be so mad if that was not worth the wait because I waited 40 minutes for that thing. That was awesome. That is definitely one of the best rides in this park. Um, backwards launch. Oh my gosh, I love getting launched backwards. It is just one of those experiences that everyone needs to experience. Oh my gosh, it's just so fun. And then it, it launched you forward and backwards. It's just like, it's actually a pretty long ride. I love the scenery of it. You're like high in the air, there you go. That's so cool, man, I love that. Um, the theming behind it is pretty good as well. Overall, it's kind of weird because it has a chain lift and it also has a launch. So it's pretty interesting how it has both. You don't usually see coasters have both the chain lift and the launch, but I think it's because it's an air pressure launch though. Very cool ride. Highly recommend you check this one out. Um, 
Look, there it goes. I don't know if they have three chains or not. Oh yeah, they do. They have three. So that's good too. The only, I don't know why it just took so long for the weight though. It's like, I don't know if it's, the ops are okay too. It's just weird why it was taking so long. It may just be a lot of people here. But I mean, Wild Eagle took like probably 20 minutes, not long at all. Um, this is my second longest wait. So I'm gonna try to do Mystery Mine and then after that, I'll head to Big Bear Mountain and uh, Dragonfly, I think it's the last thing that I'll need after that, so yeah. I kind of got lucky on this one because apparently the ride has been closed for a little bit so now it's basically walk on so lucky me man mystery mine yeah that that was a sleeper right there that came out of nowhere First off, I didn't know there was another. There was like three drops on the thing. Give <laughs> me a Snapchat! Yeah! <laughs> Man, there was like three drops on this thing. Just crazy. The last drop just catches you out of nowhere because all the other ones are like little mini ones. That last one, first of all, it's actually high. Hits you, you're just vertical. You're literally vertical like this. You go down vertical and then you go through this crazy little transition. Man, that was amazing. I'm loving, I'm loving the theming. I'm loving the operations. And that was walk-on. Oh man, I love that right there. <laughs> I love that it was walk-on. That was awesome. Uh, they do have a drop tower. I thought they didn't have a drop tower. I may ride it if I have a little bit of time, but um, man, this is an amazing park. They are, I'm blown away. I can't, I cannot wait to come back. Like I'll be back very soon, next year for sure. So just the drop line was informed that it's about like 252 feet uh, Really solid really good ride um, It's a the view is crazy the view actually gets you like it makes you feel like you're really high in the air Even though you're not because the one at King's Man is even taller than that Personally, that was good. He actually got me pretty good because when he did the countdown He was like, all right, we're gonna bring you to the top all the way and then he was like 10 9 and we dropped I was like, oh crap I'm gonna try to watch the wooden coaster, uh, Big Bear Mountain, there's Dragonfly, and I think one other one that I'm missing, and I should be good after that. After that, I'm gonna probably start rewriting stuff. So yeah, this park is amazing. Got the kitty credit out the way. That was 111. Uh, that was called Whistle Punk Chaser. Little, little bit rough for a kitty coaster. A little rough. It was pretty cool though. I mean, it went around three times. It was pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to ride the wooden coaster now called Thunderhead. This one looks like, I was looking at the layout. It looks really nice. I think it's a GCI. Uh, after this, the only thing that I have left, yeah, it's hard to go by. It's pretty loud too. Um, the only thing after this is Big Bear Mountain and Dragon Flyer. Then after that, I'm done. So, so much easier to credit run this park versus like uh, Cedar Point. Thunderhead was amazing. That was great. It was a little bit rough, a little bit rough in the back, literally a five minute wait, but that was really good. It's a loud wooden coaster too, but 
solid pops of airtime, nice little laterals, very good ride. Um, next up is probably gonna be Big Bear Mountain, and then I'm gonna start trying to re-ride stuff, so yeah. mountain amazing 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 addition to this park that was awesome Bacomba, we need more of these in the states man that was so good this is a perfect family coaster the length was perfect everything about the ride is great like even like you even get a little mist from like the little water effect it's so good man i want to ride it again the line is a little long but the operations are phenomenal I will say their operations are pretty good, except for Fire Chase for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just a popular ride, but it holds like a nice amount of people too. That's just crazy. This ride is so good. I don't think it has three trains. If it does, they're not using all of them. It's a perfect length ride. Like it's everything they need. Like it's, it's literally everything you need. You don't even need inversions. There's like these little twisty turns. It's so smooth too. Although I will say, if you want if you want to hold on to something, it's pretty much impossible. At least in the front, I rode front. I'm gonna to try to do back. I might ride it one more time just because that was honestly worth the wait. Also, one other thing that I love, they don't make you. There are no lockers. They have lockers here, but you don't have to use lockers. That's how every park should be. Like you should have the option to use lockers if you want to or not. Because honestly, the operations are solid with the bins so <laughs> it's a great ride like i'm gonna ride again i'm gonna do it one more time and then i'm gonna try to get some more re-rides i still need to ride dragonfly though you know what that's what i might do i'll ride dragonfly and then i'll ride this again oh uh, this one's kind of got a long line because it's one train that's the only issue with this ride it's one train kind of cool yeah so like but where do y'all go to i guess uh yeah that was just, yeah well, we've done it oh we okay okay we're practicing wow. but like improv uh festivals okay guys so as the sun sets i got my last credit of the day and uh that was dragonfly it's actually a really smooth bacoma ride 
it's nothing crazy, really good uh, family coaster, but I met some awesome people in line. We'll start here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, let's start here. What's your name? What's your, what's your name? Caroline. Caroline, okay. And uh, what, do you, what do you think of Dollywood? I love Dollywood. You know Dollywood? It's my favorite. Okay, Where, what other parks have y'all been to? Disney World. Okay. Cedar Point. Okay, you Cedar Point. Okay. Bush Gardens. Six Flags. Okay, okay. White so y'all travel. Okay, you travel. Splash Country. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then next up we got Rollin. Rollin. Okay, what's your what's your favorite Parker? What do you think of Dollywood? Uh, I love Dollywood. Okay. I love Disney World. I love Splash Country. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rollin. Rollin. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite Parker? What do you think of Dollywood? Uh, I love Dollywood. Okay. I've got three rides that are like top tier that everyone needs to try if you're a coaster mm -hmm. enthusiast. Uh, Lightning Rod, Wild Eagle, and Big Bear Mountain. Okay, nice. Yeah. And then we got. I'm Taylor, and okay. today is my first day at Dollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I don't, what did I say? I like, probably like the Mystery Mine. Okay, Mystery Mine, yeah, that one's good. That one's good. And then next up we got... Yeah, I'm David. David. Uh, right. I come to Dollywood as often as I can. Love okay, it. Okay, nice. I like the... What do I like? The Lightning... No, I like the Wild Eagle. Okay. The Lightning Rod's fun. And the... Um, what do you think Big Bear Mountain? Big Bear Mountain's okay. I like this one. I like the Thunderhead more because really? we're upside down. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's true. I like going upside down. And then last but not least, we Hello. got... I'm Greg. Greg, okay. Um, I love Dollywood. I love Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I'd see her here. It didn't happen. Where's Been the coming moon? here a long time. Where's the moonshine at? Oh, man, tell me. I'll go. <laughs> I need to find some. But it was hey, nice Ryan's meeting here. them. It was yeah. nice seeing them around. Nice to get them in the vlog. There's so many people here. The Tennessee people are really nice. So, <laughs> but I'm not done with the day yet. We still got to get night rides, but I'll talk to y'all soon. Park looks really good at night. They did a really good job. This entire park is just beautiful though. It looks amazing. I pretty much figured out as far as getting where I need to go to get to the rides now. Uh, I'm probably gonna be more at the back of the park. I don't even think I really need to ride lightning rod honestly again. I'm good. I don't wanna wait another like hour for it. I don't think it's really worth the hour wait in my opinion. Yo, look at the line to get cinnamon bread. That's crazy. This for cinnamon bread. That's a long line, man. It's definitely packed here now. Like, a lot of people come come here in the evening, it seems like. That line, just to get that delicious cinnamon and bread. <laughs> cool man it looks so cool at night apparently they said there's an outlet at red's diner that's where i'm gonna head to now but yeah this is just a quick video guys just to show you all some of the merch that they have for lightning rod they also have a bunch of other stuff in here too like that one's kind of cool lightning rod logo they're all pretty decent. Uh, then you got the kind of basic Chevy and the Ford one. Some solid merc in here, you know. Nothing crazy. I don't know how expensive it is. It says 25, that's not bad. 
At least it's not like kings and medium prices. They got a lot of Jeep stuff, so they must be sponsored by them. It looks pretty cool in here, though. Just wanted to see what they had in here really quick. It looks really nice. Huh. But they have a lot. Wow. Moonshine jelly? Wow. This is crazy. Banana nut butter, pecan nut butter. Holy moly, this is a lot of jam. Wow, they have like every flavor. Huckleberry, wow. Insane. Wow. all this stuff which is pretty wild even this stuff right here that does look pretty old though huh. I know they have taffy also this is crazy I see why wow they got a whole thing <laughs> oh my gosh this is insane and it, then it leads over here I think I'll have to make a stop at Bucky's though. So. Yeah, that's cool. I think they have two sides though. Yeah, they definitely make a ton of money. I can already tell. This is crazy. There's so much, you know. Cinnamon roll? Can we try one for free? <laughs> they have more over here. Jeez, how much talk taffy do you need? Wow. Oh, and they have an ice cream place over here. This place is huge.
got fat. They got the qu the time saver pass. Hey, hey, hey. Already, no, no, dude, you gotta come back to our cabin. I am. Oh, where y'all? Where? How far are y'all? Forty minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta give you a hug. Yeah. Too happy, bro. Let's go home, man. You have to come to the. I done found Matt and everybody. everybody. <laughs> Slowing all everybody what? up in here. Damn! <laughs> what is up? Oh my god, I didn't know y'all were gonna be. I thought y'all were going to the uh, the uh, Big Bear yeah, Summer. Yeah, that was actually. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. What's Big your Bear thought? Gonna be awesome, Where does Light Hour rank for you though? For me, 17. Okay, yeah. 17. I don't think it's good. It's a little bit back Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Yes, sir. We got it, baby. Let's go. Got that night ride, man. Back seat was way better. I didn't even get to go all the way in the back. I went in like row nine uh, just because the park closed now. Oh man, it was so much better in the back. But I will say it just, after riding still vengeance, twisted and whatnot, it does, it, I wouldn't say it's in my like top one or not even probably top 10, but it is a very good ride. Like I, do I think it's a little bit overhyped for sure, but I'm glad that I got to experience it. Hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. I'm actually about to, uh, meet up with uh i saw scott from uh upstop media also so it was nice seeing him and a bunch of Costa brews people uh they were there i didn't even realize that they were there until i saw them in line uh for the times they were quick queue and i was like what the world they're here i will talk to y'all in just a little bit and uh i hope y'all enjoying the vlog though Yeah, I think that's a Yeah, that yeah. looks like moon salt um, Yeah, it's like the only one existing. And as you can see, I'm not in my hotel room right now. This is this is a mansion. This is definitely a mansion. This is the Airbnb. This thing has freaking two ovens. It's crazy. Dollywood was amazing. That is one of my favorite parks now. I definitely want to go back. I would definitely get like a two day ticket next time. The only reason I couldn't do a two day ticket really, I could have bought the two day ticket, but it really would have been pushing time because I would have had to been back to work on Tuesday and I'm off on Monday. So it's like, I'd rather have that day of kind of just rest so I can edit this video, get that out to y'all a little bit quicker, as well as just kind of, you know, just get content out for y'all. On top of that, it allows me to uh, get back home because that's a six hour drive so it's like it just worked out for me to do the one day this time but in the future i definitely want to plan on try to do um two days and maybe i might even buy the season pass because it does seem like it's honestly worth it the cinnamon bread was great but i will say i can make better cinnamon bread for sure if you're wondering the noise in the background that's them out there they're just having some fun they're getting lit out there i think i would say my favorite ride is gonna be I actually gotta say it might be Big Bear Mountain. I know it sounds crazy, but that was an amazing, amazing ride. Fire Chaser was really good also. I think that might be in my top three. For me, Wild Eagle just wasn't doing anything, but Matt was just saying, Matt from Ghost and Bruce, he was just telling me, he was like, he was graying out on it. So I don't know, I'm like, I don't know. It just felt really mid to me in backseat. So maybe I just need to ride front or something, but 
it just seemed like a regular casual ride. Like, I guess that's what people think of like Gatekeeper when they ride it. Me for Gatekeeper, I love it. It just whips you around. Going through the keels is amazing. Thunderbird is a phenomenal wooden coaster. I definitely need to ride, get more rides of that when I come back. Uh, that was, an, it had great laterals, nice pops of airtime, solid, solid wooden coaster. I knew it was gonna be a good coaster when I was on the drop tower and I was looking at the layout of it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks incredible. And I think that is a GCI, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is a GCI. The one that I had to wait for, that I really was upset that I had to wait for, I did get to meet some awesome people while I was in line, so that was kind of the benefit of being able to wait. Uh, that was like a 45 minute wait just for a freaking kiddie coaster. It was okay, like it was a Vacoma, it's solid, it wasn't rough or anything, it was smooth, but there is no way. That ride would pretty much have to be walk on for me to really ride it again or maybe five minutes, maybe that'd be the only way I'd ride it. I did get all the credits, I even got the other kitty coaster. That one was actually pretty good. It was a little bit bumpy, but it was pretty good. Mystery Mind was the one that really caught me off guard, mainly because I didn't know it even had that many drops. I didn't know everything that happens inside there. On top of that, they have that nice projection when you, it's vertical, it's literally vertical. And then it there's this fire effect on there, had a lot of effects to the ride, nice sounds. Really good ride, like it's just aesthetically a pleasing coaster. Um, if you don't know about that, that's it's almost like kind of like Flight of Fear in a sense where you don't even know what the ride really is until you actually get on it. I am very happy. Obviously the whole reason why I even did this trip was really to ride Lightning Rod and I got my two rides on it. I got a daytime front seat ride and then I got a back seat or really row nine uh, night ride. And I will say the night ride was better uh, dropping into literally pitch blackness back there. It's kind of awesome doing that little fake out. Uh, it gives you a little bit of air time and then you go over the second one. Really, really cool. Uh, very great experience on that coaster. It is slightly rough like after this certain part. I, can't, I don't know what that part is exactly, but it's just a little bit, there's like a little pothole in it. Other than that though, it's pretty smooth. Uh, I will say Steel Vinge, all the other RMCs I've ridden are actually smoother in my opinion. The weirdest ride that I rode was Blazing Fury. I don't think I'll ride that again. Me personally, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Really weird ride, like just a weird, weird ride. It had this random drop out of nowhere, which just blew me away. That was the only part that I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Everything else though, it was just like, what is this ride exactly? It just made you think of this old Disney type of ride. The theme was okay. It wasn't nothing bad about it. It just wasn't my type of ride. Tennessee Tornado is definitely my favorite aero coaster now. I actually want to ride that again in front row. That ride definitely caught me off guard. When I was looking at it going up the lift hill, I was like, oh my gosh, those inversions are not normal. That is not what aero coasters do. The inversions look crazy on that thing. I wish I could have got a picture of it, but yeah. Also shout out to all the amazing people that I met today. It was awesome seeing Scott from Upside Media, Matt from Coast and Brews, uh, wall and ball and a bunch of, there was just a bunch of people from Coast and Brews there. I also got to meet up with Airtime Mike as y'all saw earlier. I didn't see him anymore after that. Uh, shout out to Kat. I know she doesn't like to be in the videos, but shout out to you Kat. Um, it's nice seeing you too. And I also saw a bunch of just new people. So I definitely will be back in Tennessee again in the future because I really like the state. Y'all are really, so, y'all some really nice people. Although I will say it felt like I was like one of the only black people there until maybe like six o'clock when like more people kind of start rolling in. It definitely felt like I was the only black person. I'm not gonna lie. I had an amazing day though. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Thank you all for watching. If you stay with me this long, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and uh, more stuff coming very soon. Until next time, peace out.